Yeah. Well, maybe I was just trying to put my own spin on it. Dear Tim and Moby, can you do a movie on music scales? Thanks. From Aaron. You're welcome. In Western music, a scale is just a sequence of tones arranged in progressively higher pitches. Most of the music you're familiar with is based on diatonic scales. A diatonic scale contains eight notes. This is a C major scale. Like all scales, it's named after its first note, or root, C. So actually, there are seven unique notes in every eight-note scale. Although each note has an unchanging letter name, like A, B, or C, the notes in a diatonic scale are also known as Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, and Ti. Regardless of what scale you're playing, the root note is always known as Do, the second note up is Re, and so on. Well, that's a little trickier. The diatonic scale is actually just one of a number of scale types. Other scales have different numbers of notes and different patterns. I'm getting there, okay? There is another kind of scale that you'll want to know about if you're learning music, the chromatic scale. A chromatic scale is similar to a diatonic scale. It starts with a specific note and ends when you reach an octave of that note. But instead of playing a pattern of notes with some whole step intervals and some half step intervals, you play every half step along the way. One of the main things that contributes to how a particular scale sounds is the musical distance or interval between each note. In Western music, the smallest interval is the half step. On a keyboard, a half step is the interval between any two adjacent keys. On the C major scale, the interval between the root note and the second note is two half steps, or one whole step. The distance between the third and fourth notes in the scale is just one half step up. The pattern of intervals in the C major scale is the same for all diatonic scales. Okay, yeah, let's, let's talk about major and minor. If we wanted to play, say, the diatonic F major scale, we'd use the same pattern of intervals as the C major scale, but start on the F note instead of the C. So, did you notice something similar about the way the F and C major scales sound? Well, if you listen closely, you may notice that they're both kind of cheery sounding compared to the way they sound to this. That's a C minor scale. Minor scales are darker and more depressing than major scales. That's why songs written in minor keys can seem mysterious or gloomy. Well, say a song is written in the key of C minor. That means it's based around the C minor scale. So most of the notes in the song will come from that scale, and that song will take on the character of the scale. That song I was playing, the opening to Beethoven's Fifth Symphony, is in C minor. You can hear how the darkness of the scale affects the mood of the tone. <laughs> <laughs>